But first, two people arrested for murder, even though neither one of them pulled the trigger. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Ginger Gast. And deputies say the suspects were trying to rob someone when their friend was shot and killed. Now they are facing charges for the death. New 6's Molly Reed reports from Flagler County. We knew that that the two suspects that we arrested had fled, but they weren't 100% sure whether Roberts was alive or dead. 23-year-old Quentel Moultrie and 20-year-old Taylor Monjaras now face armed burglary and second-degree murder charges. Sheriff Rick Staley says they're being held responsible for the death of their accomplice in a home invasion, 23-year-old Zare Roberts. This was a drug deal gone bad. Staley says on December 29th, Moultrie, Manjaras, and Roberts went to a drug dealer's home on Regent Lane in Palm Coast. He says the three said they were going to buy drugs but were really planning to rip him off. But when they confronted the dealer, he also had a gun. Roberts shot the resident twice in the leg and hip before the resident fired multiple rounds killing Roberts. Staley says Moultrie and Manjaras fled. The dealer survived his injuries, but Roberts died at the scene. The sheriff's office didn't initially report that anyone had died. This was an investigative tactic to keep the suspects and their friends guessing and active on social media platforms. Through social media to track Moultrie and Manjaras and their posts and getting information out of the dealer, the sheriff's office was finally able to arrest the two this last week. Daly says the dealer won't be charged in the shooting. I really hate to call him a victim because if he wasn't a drug dealer, this home invasion would have never occurred. In Palm Coast, Flagler County, I'm Molly Reed getting results, News 6.